Moses, right? Yes, but this is Moses giving the head to teach Israel. We follow it. We're together so far. Okay? So now he's telling us that, listen, we must keep these commandments. And when we keep the commandments that are written in this book, we're going to rule the earth. You are with me so far? Oh, yeah, okay, verse 15. Verse 15, come on. But it shall come to pass. Uh -huh. If they will not, if you don't listen to this book, come on. How can unto the voice of the Lord they call? Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses, all these what now? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, we're going to read about the curses that will happen to the Israelites. That's how we prove who Israel is. Verse 32. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Watch this. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. No. It says our sons and our daughters will be given to another nation of people. Which nation on this earth were taken into slavery and sold? Africa is a continent. I say what? Africa is a continent. Okay, Africa is a continent. No, no, Africa is a, not Africa is a continent. I ask you a very specific question. I said, which people on this earth were sold on ships as slaves and they were delivered all over the earth? Thank you. What color are you? Thank you. Read the Bible again. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, my brother. Wait, wait. I'm still proving the point. With what you say. Yes, what yes. Not what I'm saying. Hold on. Let's read the Bible again. Pay attention, bro. The problem is then you are g disingenuous. I'm trying to show you. Hold on, my brother. Okay, so now listen good then. Listen. Listen up. Remember the Sabbath day. Now, this is Moses speaking to us. Remember, this Bible, let me just a little bit of info. The Bible is the book of your fathers. Anything that you want to know about your history, where you come from, why you ended up here, why we are struggling, why we are at the bottom, why we are poor, the answer is in the Bible. You understand that? Now, let me show you. Read, read Song of Solomon 1 and 5 first. The Sabbath. Saturday and Sunday. I'm coming there. Just stay with me, brother. So Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Listen good. This is King Solomon. You know King Solomon, right? Read the Bible. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black. I am what? I am black. So what color was King Solomon? Oh, he was black. He was black, man. Okay, but if you know that already, yeah. so do you know that he was an Israelite? He was a Jew? Well, he could have been. No, no, not could have been. He was a Jew. Okay. Okay, so now, because he's a Jew, yeah. right? Do you know why the Jews, God gave them this Bible? The Bible says so. Psalms 147, verse 19. Okay, yeah, I'm going to show you. Stay with me, my brother. Psalms 147, verse 19. Bear with us, man. This Bible has been through a lot. Read the Bible. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Listen good. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the father of the twelve tribes. He showeth. Yes. He didn't give them. No, listen, 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 my brother. Keep reading, man. He's We're not going to be on semantics. Keep reading. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto who now? Unto Israel. Remember, Jacob was changed to Israel. That is me. Read. He has not done so with any nation. So he never showed this Bible to any nation. He only showed it to Jacob and his sons. Can you read the part, last part again? Read that again. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 20. Uh -huh. Verse 19. Verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob. His word is this Bible. He showed. He word. showeth. Showeth is the same as showing. So showeth, does it mean a literal, physical? Literal? Yes, physical. That's why we're holding no, it physical. No. Yes, keep reading. That's why we have it. Keep reading. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto who? And to Israel, keep reading. He has not dealt so with any nation. He has not dealt so with any nation outside of Israel. No, but you have to understand one thing. When it says he showed it, no, no, we still hold on, my brother. You see, the thing is, you jump in the gun. I need you to listen. You don't want to give me a no, hold on, my brother. I get I'm giving you the answer. Then, once the answer is done, we can discuss it. Okay, communication 101. Come on. He has not dealt so with any nation. He didn't deal so with any nation. Come on. 
As for his judgment, as for his punishments, read, they have not known. The other nations have never received the punishments that God has written in this book. Read. Praise he the Lord. If God says we better praise him for that. You know why? Now hold on. Baruch 3.36. Baruch 3.36. What is Baruch? It's the book. It's the Bible. I know you don't know. I didn't know also before. Baruch? Yes. You know Jeremiah? Huh? Do you know Jeremiah? Yes or no? The prophet. Yes. No, no, no. In the Bible, my brother, you've read about it, right? Okay, do you know who, he, who his scribe was? His scribe. The person that was writing down when Jeremiah was prophesying. Yes. Yes. So you're taking his personal testament. No, 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 no. It's not his personal testament. You see this book, now? it's always been in the Bible. When the white man took over, he separated this book from the Holy Bible. So that's why today when you read the Bible, it doesn't have the apocrypha in it. Because the white man took it out. Now, where's that other book? Get it? Now read Baruch 336 while he's getting it. I'm going to show you the original 1611 King James Bible with these books inside. Read the Bible. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 36. Watch this. He has found out all the way of knowledge. He found out all the way of knowledge. So all the knowledge is in the Bible. What, who was given? Who was he given to? And has given it. And what now? And has given it. That's the same thing we just read in Psalms. Read. And to Jacob. And he gave it to Jacob, which is us. Read. His servant. And to Israel, his beloved. So God only loves the children of Israel. No, he loves his servants. No, his servants. Listen, God is pl plural, my brother. He gave it to Jacob, his servant. No, 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 don't servant. Read the Bible again. Come on, my brother. Pay attention, bro. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 36. Listen, God. He has found out all the way of knowledge and has given it unto Jacob. Uh -huh. So, Jacob, how many sons? Hold on. How many sons did Jacob have? I'm asking, no, no, I'm asking. He gave it to Jacob and to Jacob. Okay, so who is Jacob? Jacob is Israel. So who, how, so Israel, so hold on, wait, wait, wait. Israel, is Israel a nation? Is Israel a nation? Yes. Now yes. Okay, so, so. it was an individual's name. Okay, but yes, but before, when Israel was given the name Israel, what was the purpose of it? What was the purpose of what? Yes, the purpose of him being given the name Israel. Okay, first of all... Now I'm asking! If you say purpose... Yeah, what was the purpose? The purpose would imply that there was something that meant to be covered in the name of God. Be specific. When you say purpose... Yeah, what was... Okay, let me... Let, let's keep it simple. Was what was the reason? It, it was because he, he fought an angel and he, he succeeded. And then, okay. And then he had to translate him to, 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 to Israel. Right, so when he was given that name Israel, what was supposed to come off of that? What was the purpose of him giving that name after that? Him being a great nation. A How? Nation. How was he a great nation? Through multiplication. Okay, so that multiplication, who are the, who are those people called? The Israelites. Thank you. So what, what, those, hold what, on, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait. Listen, what, listen, what, listen now. Listen, my brother. Jacob is a man first, right? Uh -huh. Jacob was given the name Israel, mm -hmm. right? So that after him can come which people? Yes. How many nations? That's one. No, twelve. Okay, you're talking about the tribes now. Yes, this tribe, the people you see on the sign. The tribe, right. The now let's read the what Bible again. No, no, no. Listen. That these nations here is twelve nations of them. Now read the Bible again. The book of Baruch, chapter three, verse thirty-six. Isn't good. He has found out all the way of knowledge and has given it unto Jacob his servant. Go ahead. And to Israel his and to what now? And to Israel, his beloved. Now stop. Israel is a man, right? He gave it to Jacob. He is what? He is beloved. Now. And unto who? Israelite. No, 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 no. Listen, he didn't say Israelite. He says Israel. That's it. Okay. okay. So what was given, what was the command given to Jacob to do after this? Yes. When Jacob was given this great knowledge, what was he to do with it? Thank you. Psalm 78 verse 6. Let's get it. Psalm 78, start of verse 5. Let's see. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 5. Start of verse 1. Verse 1. Uh -huh. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Who's God's people? Okay. Hold on. Stay with me, my brother. Because the thing is... You want me to say Israelite? No, I'm asking the question. I want to see if you're following. Okay. I'm following. Okay, so who's God's people? Israelite. Okay, keep reading. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Read. 
I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark signs of hope. Come on. Which we have heard and know. And our fathers have told us. So who are these fathers? The descendants of Jacob. Yes. Okay. Wait, Abraham. Me, Isaac. Me, Hold on. Abraham. Isaac. Jacob. Yeah, of course. Of course. Let me finish this. You're going to answer. ask all the questions you want. It will actually help us. All no, no, no. Let's finish the Bible first. Yeah. Remember my brother. The reason why we are, we are not, I'm meeting you today. You're trying to prove a point. That's no, my brother. No, listen, I listen. I, I just want to make a point. The reason why you and I were talking today is not because of my words. It's because of this Bible. So the foundation will be this. When you and I communicate. You follow, right? Come on. We will not hide them from their children. From their what? From their children. Read. Showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord. So now... The purpose of Jacob be given this great knowledge was to teach it to his sons and daughters, which today is you and me. Now, what's the question? Now, the question is, you're trying to prove a black Jesus. Yes? I've already proved Jesus is black. black. Yes. We all agree on that. We have proved that, yeah, already. So, you say that the, the, the Lord is for the Israelites. Yes, according to the Bible. Are we the Israelites? Yes, we are. How so? I'm going to show you. Give me to 20, 28 and 1. I'm going to prove it. Turn to Nathan verse 1. Watch this. Take your time. Take your time. You turn between 8 and verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 verse 1. Watch this. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt have intelligent unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. Read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So now, who's talking to the Israelites here? Moses, which nation on this earth were taken into slavery and sold? Africa is a continent. I say what? Africa is a continent. Okay, Africa is a continent. No, no, Africa is a, not Africa is a continent. I ask you a very specific question. I said, which people on this earth were sold on ships as slaves and they were delivered all over the earth? Thank you. What color are you? Thank you. Read the Bible again. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, my brother. Wait, wait, wait. I'm still proving the point. With what you say. Yes, what yes. Not what I'm saying. Hold on. Let's read the Bible again. Pay attention, bro. The problem is then you are disingenuous. I'm trying to show you. Hold on, my brother. Okay, so now listen good then. Listen. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Listen good. Thy sons and thy daughters. He says, your sons and your daughters. What's going to happen to our sons and our daughters? shall be given unto another people. Our sons will be given unto another people. Go ahead. And then I shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Uh -huh. And there shall be no might in thine hand. It says our sons and our daughters will be given to another race of people. How are they going to be given? Read verse 41 so we know how they were given. Come on. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. It says we're going to have sons and daughters. Eh? Who oh, Jesus Christ? Yes, aha. Ah, ma pun bas pa, ah ma pun. Bas twa ele ma pun undote. Bas bas pa ele ma pun. Read verse forty one. Let's see how our sons and our daughters were given. Pay attention, my brother. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight, verse forty one. Listen good. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. You're gonna beget sons and daughters. He's talking to Israelites. Read. But thou shalt not enjoy them. We are not going to enjoy our sons and our daughters. What's gonna happen to them? For they shall go into captivity. They shall what now? For they shall go into captivity. They're going to go into slavery. So that's why I asked you, which race of people were given as slaves and sold? Right.